Event planner don't feel a record breaker will be held at for collecting three million naira and refusing to show up for that particular event where you don't collect money for. <laughs> so today Hilda Basi had to come out to defend herself with receipts. Yes, so so my people three days ago or before days ago this particular flyer they fly around for social media especially for uh, twitter space it started on twitter you know people can they drag hilda Bassi because the flyer according to waiting the right for the flyer he talks say uh, meet and greet with hilda Bassi for 25 000 naira 25k so people can they drag you that say ah, ah record where you break where guinness never even confirm say okay oh we don't already satisfy and we don't give them the award say you don't break the record true true is yet to be confirmed by Guinness. So why she go to charge this kind of money, 25k, just to see Hilda? So we're going to drag Hilda. Oh. So tell Hilda had to come out to defend herself. Say she was never ever aware of that uh, meet and greet. Say yes, true, true, she collect money, but you know, no say they go plan the event like say na she they do am. Like people make a just allow and make una watch this video. I don't know how I go take explain this thing to you guys, but make una hear from the horses mouth because like this now eh, that particular brand they don't already sue uh, Hilda. Hey, they don't already take him to court, my people. Hilda don't even confirm say her lawyers. They go start from where she stopped because someone is too early to drag her to the mud. They are now creating the narrative that I backed out when I got Twitter backlash. Meanwhile, I had been telling them from morning that I wasn't comfortable with it. Like, it makes no sense to me. But it definitely makes sense to them because they think that that is some form of sensible damage control that is going to make their brand. Posting. Anyways, there's a particular brand that is honestly trying to mess around with my name and i i honestly feel like just knowing the kind of person i am they feel this is okay and they honestly did not think that i would come out to explain myself or basically just talk about it or clear the air so before i even get into it it's important to note that for every single thing i'm going to say here i have receipts so i have chats i have voice notes with timestamps and dates and you know all of that because i did not work this hard for someone to throw my name in the mud because of three million naira so the first thing that i would note because a lot of you are probably going to be asking is i don't have any three million naira because i refunded it and on i think that was on the 7th of june i think that was either on the 7th of june or on the on the 8th of june a friend of mine had reached out to me and had said to me that oh there's this brand that wants you to do an appearance please pay attention to the the words that i'm using so there's this brand that said oh um that wants you to do an appearance and it's pretty much similar to what you did for tokyo abuja and i'm like oh okay so what's the appearance fee and i said what it was and then they were like oh share your details share your details and i proceeded to share my details and i'll say this is where the mistake was on my side because normally when people reach out to me i'll say oh let me send you my manager's number but because this person was coming from my friend i said oh you know what let me just share my details because it's just an appearance and that's okay so i did and when i went to abuja um one of the organizers of this said event came to the hotel to see me and then he had said to me that oh you know we're trying to do something for your abuja fans and we're hoping that you were going to cook and me with my big head i was just there doing oh really oh that sounds so nice you know it's so important to me that my fans have a good time i feel like you guys should have cocktails like what we did during the cookathon i want you to do ice cream and you know just all that my minutes look is bad i hope you guys can see and hear me so i pretty much went into a frenzy talking about how nice i wanted it to be forgetting that people don't do things like this for free like the fact that i did the cookathon for free doesn't mean that they would do it for free anyways they went into it and they were like oh yeah i said oh don't worry i'm not even going to charge you guys extra for cooking because it's for my abuja fans i'm all for it you know what just run with it and then they were like oh we'll make payments today please don't change your mind and i'm like okay sure that works right then um after that uh then i got the payments that day and i went back to lagos and then while i was in lagos hold on so i went back to lagos and then they sent me 
the flyer and this was the flyer they had sent to me and then when they sent me this flyer at first glance i said there's no way in hell i'm going to post this right because i'm not going to be asking people to pay 20k or 30k for it and i sent a voice note and after this live i'm going to share a screen record of that voice note right so i sent a voice note and i said oh if you guys are going to post this that's fine but me i'm not going to post it because i cannot be asking people to share what's it called to pay to see me and stuff like that now they now sent me so this obviously i'm not talking to them directly i'm talking to my friend so my friend forwards this voice notes and then they respond the next day and this next day was on wednesday and then they explain with oh the space just we are using oh the space we are using is really small for 200 people or less no table sales if we put it for free we wouldn't be able to meet up with the costing yada 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 they just went ahead and explained as to why the event had to be paid for and my response was, hmm. In fact, I forwarded their message to my manager. And my manager's response and mine was pretty much the same. Hmm. The issue is they can't call it an evening with Hilda Bassi and then put price. You can be a special guest at something they are doing. But it can't be called an evening with Hilda Bassi, then proceed to say, pay 25k. That's basically asking people to pay to see you. We can't do this. And then I sent it to them and my I sent it to my friend and I said, I might have to refund these people. This was at 12 17 p.m. The minute I sent this message and I said, I might have to refund these people because I'm not comfortable with it. I feel like they owed it to the public or the people that they were selling this event to, to not post that flyer. Because at this point, we are in a conversation. I'm telling you that I'm not interested in this anymore. I don't want to do this. This is off brand for me. And then they came back with explanations, came back with a follow up flyer and said, oh, we can just do this, please. We really want to do it. And I said, it's not gonna work for me. Please, let's refund. This was at three o'clock, 3 p.m. on the said day that they posted the flyer. And then they still sent back quite a number of messages. And I sent back a, a voice note that I'm going to share. And I said, you guys cannot. I did a cookathon for four days or five days where every single thing was free. I cannot charge people 25K to come and see me. It makes no sense and it's completely off brand. And that was my voice note. And I'll share it with you in a, what's it called? In like a screen record, right? And then they said to me, we will create a different plan, a proper show where she would come as a guest appearance, a different name to the event. We already have a lineup of DJs and we would get other appearances. I would write a well detailed plan and send to you. All current flyers would be taken down. This was at 7 p.m. in the night. And I said to them, they were like, oh, please just give us some time. Please, let's give it an hour. And I said, okay, that's fine. I'll wait, right? Mm -hmm. And then these guys didn't take down this flyer. And this is me saying, I am not doing... I said to... I even gave them an instance. I said, it's a different case if you're doing a jam rock and then you have different artists coming. And one of the artists or one of the people that you have coming is Hilda Bassi. And one of the side notes is that, oh, Hilda Bassi is going to be cooking. You guys get to taste her food and try her food. And I'm like, that's a different case. But making me the entire event and charging people for it does not make any sense. And I am not comfortable with this, right? So please, I don't want to do this. Let me refund you guys. And I just want that. All these conversations were happening before it became news on Twitter, before anybody came to drag me on Twitter, right? And then at night, this was at 9.43, I said, send me their number because at this point I wasn't having it. They were not sending their, their number for a refund and they weren't communicating and they hadn't taken down the flyer. And then the, my friend now sends me their number and I text this guy and I say, my name is Hilda Bassi. And, you know, I went, there was a whole back and forth with him. And he was very apologetic at the time. 
you know i said to him oh my name is hilda bassi he's like good evening please can we have a quick call and i said i'll send i'll post all the screenshots by the way i said i would appreciate it if you share your account details to receive a refund of the payment made to my account i am not open to having a conversation or negotiation what was explained to me and what you people are actually doing are two different things i did not approve the flyer and you proceeded to share on your platform now people are tweeting a false narrative that doesn't represent my image now he says to me um oh he sent a voice note that i didn't listen to and then he says please with all due i now said to him please with all due respect share your details for a refund stop sending me voice notes i won't listen just share your details for a refund he said okay i'm sorry about this i wanted to be expressive that's why i said i'm not interested in your plans it's off brand for me i don't need any more negative press please share your details immediately and he said okay i'm sorry about that i will get the company account and i will send he said i'm calling for it i would send it i'm really sorry about this i said to him don't apologize you people were irresponsible now i'm having to explain myself to people i don't know because you were too much in a hurry to sell tickets for something i didn't agree to it's bad i explained all these things to this guy and on this bear in mind that they were very apologetic that this same night before it became news on twitter so it wasn't news on Twitter at the point when we were having this conversation, right? Then I said to him, again, I asked, share your account details. So they had sent the details to my friend and they shared it. And this was the point where I refunded them their money. Still on that same Thursday. Now on Friday, my lawyers have carried the conversation and my lawyers are now the ones responding to them. And they've sent them a retraction because you guys are misrepresenting me and at the point where i refunded these people their money and i had told them i've been telling them from morning that this event is not gonna happen i'm not comfortable with this right they still held on to it and still left the flyer on there when you people have told me that what you guys were trying to do was something for my abuja fans i think it's it's naive of me to assume that anybody would put something like that together for free because i did it doesn't mean other people are going to do it right so i think that's my mistake but now coming at me and then i said to them they haven't taken down the flyer they haven't taken down the flyer they haven't taken them down the flyer i said it multiple times i sent screenshots to my manager it's been 24 hours it's one day this flyer is two days old at this point this is a scam because this event is not happening right you guys are still selling tickets in fact the company that they were using to sell the tickets had sent us an email the day before asking if this event was happening and if we were affiliated to this brand and we went ahead to tell them that no we are not affiliated to this brand in any way there was a conversation but we had refunded them their money and hilda had said to them that she was not interested in doing this that if she was going to do a meet and greet in abuja it was going to be free like